Well, right now, my buddy and I woke up really early to try to get out fishing, and it's pouring rain out. So we're probably going to sleep in and get out fishing later on. But there's an amazing rainbow this morning and about 10,000 mosquitoes. Hopefully this rain lets up and lets us get back out fishing today because it's raining pretty good right now. Back to bed. All right, we are getting out fishing now and it's about seven in the morning. We have a couple hours before the rain is supposed to start again. So making the most out, making the most out of our time and trying to catch some more panfish. So let's go. got ourselves a loon hanging out. Oh, we forgot the net. Oh. Whatever. We'll get him. Yeah, this spot's perfect right now. Ooh, there was a follow. We got our first pickler. Oh, that is a nice one, dude. That's one of the bigger ones. That is a nice one, dude. Wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> That is a good freaking pike, dude. Wow. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that guy. We'll no, take him. That's like 30 inches. Nice fish, dude. Yeah, I gotta get my line in the water. Good job, man. Holy crap. Look at this giant what is this a pumpkin seed or something or a red ear no that's a red ear wow giant caught on the beetle spin with a little hair jig that i tied but we're gonna catch more troy lost another pike it's been a good morning so far yeah i like these power bait jerk shads because they have on the back of them, check that out. They have like slots that help your uh, hook stay a little bit more weedless. Got one. Couldn't even tell. Bass, nice one though. This is what I hate about largemouth is they do this crap sometimes. He hit like he was bigger. He's been caught before. Not a bad fish. Here comes the sun. Nice one. <laughs> so I got one bass on a five inch weedless jerk shad with a five aught weedless hook. And I'm gonna try this Johnson Silver Minnow, classic pike and bass bait. This looks good in here. Shallow. Oh, just had a pike. Yep.
Oh. Oh. Right there. Yeah, he's coming after it. Looks like a pickler. Might have found the hot bait. That's three casts, three swipes and follows. We have Bassmaster Troy here, catching trees. <laughs> Taking us back into this beautiful spot where he lost a monster pike earlier this morning. Or a monster bass, who knows what it was. Could have been a freaking seven pounder. That one I lost last night, that largemouth was big. So he had some time to grow up. What the hell is that? That's a nice one, dude. I just had a bite. Got one. On the Johnson Silver Minnow. That's a great little spoon. Johnson Silver Minnow. Classic, but too small even for pickling. Just caught this beautiful northern pike. That's a pickler. That's a pickle dickle. Catching pike on a Johnson Silver Minnow spoon. One of the more affordable fishing lures ever made. Which is funny because the two lures catching most of our pike and panfish this weekend are the beetle spin, but we don't use the body or jig that comes with the beetle spin. We use tube jigs, hair jigs, twister tails on 132nd, 116th ounce jig heads. But then the second affordable lure is this Johnson Silver Minnow Spoon. And I just put a little curly tail, Mr. Twister, twister tail on the back. And the pike seem to be liking it. We're dealing with a lot of wind, so Troy's Al Lindering the bolt control over here. Whoa! What do you got here? Keeper or? Nah. Hey, at least you know where the perch are. But next week they'll be in the hole. Bro, you can't use that night crawler. That's cheating. Artificial only tournament, bro. There's a pickler. Yeah, yeah, we'll 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 take him. Yeah. He's got parasites, but those will fry up in the frying pan. All right, Troy just caught another pickler. Probably a fish we would have thrown back earlier in the trip, but now we're just trying to get those fish so we can pickle some jars and enjoy some pickled fish. He's using the beetle spin, so he's catching a combination of panfish and pike. Probably a bass sooner or later. And I'm just using the Johnson Silver Minnow fishing for pike. I'm waiting for my last hour and a half for uh, the panfish explosion. If it happens. It could happen. It's gonna happen. All right, we are in a new spot now. I'm still throwing for, throwing for pike with the Johnson Silver Minnow. This is the spot where I lost a big... Oh, got one. <laughs> a big... Ugh. Ugh, not over that side. <laughs> Just drops it right back in the water. Another pickler. Probably have to keep that one anyways. Ugh, got three now, and then two more at home, so. 
Not a bad start to a jar of pickled fish. Ooh, just got hit. Oh, got him. Oh, lost him. Oh, bit my tail off. Look at that. Yeah, I ripped my underwear. <laughs> Oh man. All right, so I'm just taking this Johnson Silver Minnow spoon. I take a three inch Mr. Twister, stretch the tail a little bit so that it swims all nice. And I bite about a fourth of an inch off. Then you just put either with the tail up or the tail angled down. Just put it right on the back of the spoon, straight. I got a not too kinky leader, 18 pound. It's a titanium leader. going to be getting back out for some pike and some panfish. We did fairly well this morning for pike. We kept a couple for pickling. We're going to try to get some more. But it's been raining all day long today, so it finally let up. And that's why we're getting back out for the sunset bite. We got about four hours, four and a half hours till dark. We might walleye fish tonight if we're feeling up to it again we caught four of them last night but it's been a decent weekend but the rain and wind kind of sucks it's kind of a cold wind so we're gonna uh try our best and see what happens all right well i just lost a big crappie on a beetle spin we're getting bites so we anchored outside of some of this structure in front of us See if we can catch any more crappies. Got him? That's a big... Oh, look at that. Hold that up for the camera. That's a monster bluegill. Oh, well. He's dinner. All right, Troy just caught a big bluegill. We're kind of running into some bites over here in this spot, so maybe we found some fish. Well, we did find some fish. Hopefully there's more. Oh, there you go. Big! Oh my god, dude. That's even bigger than the other one. Look at that. That's a big fish, dude. Nice. Red ear. Holy crap, Troy. I think you just keep catching them bigger. Look at that thing. That's a monster bluegill. Here, hold them forward a little. There you go. Oh, wow. Huge. It's got a forehead, a Neanderthal bluegill. Ugh. <laughs> Well, Troy is catching monster bluegills on a night crawler, so I decided to take a break from casting and hopefully catch one too. There we go. Crappy. What the heck? 
Bro, por Dios. I guess so. Nope. Potato chips. There we go. That might keep. Eh, nah. Female. Oh, I, she took. You took my one. Absolute monster bluegill. Now we're starting to kind of figure them out, but it's like we have to try one spot after another. And sometimes we run into them, and sometimes we don't. But nice fish. That's a... Oh, that's a good one. Another big blue gel. Look at that. Nice. On a night crawler. Oh, there we go. What is that? Crappie? Yeah. Yeah. Some variety. Not a bad one. There we go. I didn't even know I had one. That's a nice one. Chunkaroo. I got a couple like that already, so... There we go. Wow, right away. There's a big one. Nice one. Tom by us, that would be considered a trophy. Yeah. Doesn't get much better than catching big panfish, relaxing with bobbers, you know? Got another one. Holy crap. It's actually kind of nice seeing the sun after this cloudy, rainy day. There we go. I knew there was a blue doe under that log. Yep piece of driftwood we're sitting over oh like that one oh that's big one so we're just kind of picking apart every piece of wood and every uh, island and wooded shoreline we see we're finally coming across some good sized bluegills a couple nice crappies I think we probably have enough pike for pickling right now especially with this guy in his 31 32 incher he caught today so, it's a good trip. 
beautiful sun coming out finally when it hasn't been out all day long. It's absolutely magnificent. Oh, you got one, hey? Had one. Yep. Look at these clouds passing over us all quick. Wow. So, I got some nice bluegills, a couple crappies, and three pickler pike. Got two more pike. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god. Oh man. That's a big one. Huge. Can't even fit your hand around it. That's a nice fish. What a weird bite. Oh, uh, it's a perch. A poich. All right, I'm gonna try the Johnson Silver Minnow Spoon again. Troy's fishing panfish still. I'm just taking a little break from panfish to see if I can get some more pike. It's been a pretty very, very decent trip, actually. We've gotten spoiled years past by this lake, so we always expect a little more, but we're on, we're on to what these fish are biting on, and we're getting some fish, so that's all that matters. A lot smaller than your last one, but hey. It's a fish. Oh, I got one. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, man. That one hit it pretty good, too. Ripping those paper mouths. We're just catching these fish on beetle spins again. One dollar Walmart lure. Well, now with inflation, probably two dollars. Yeah, $5.99 for a piece of wire and a spinner blade. Oh, there we go. Found him. That's a big one. You guys would have been laughing at me before because I almost lost a crappie off the side of the boat and then two seconds later ended up losing it anyways, trying to put it in the fish basket. <laughs> Perfect little keeper. Yeah, we're just throwing that beetle spin out with a tube jig on a 32nd ounce jig head, counting it down to about five, like five seconds. And then slowly reeling and seems to be the ticket. Beautiful sunset. Yeah, it's funny, we back off those islands and all that wood structure, it's all crappies. Oh, that's a bluegill, never mind. Holy crap. Every time you see that freaking 9, 10 inch bluegill, it never ceases to amaze you. Crappy, crappy. Oh, right next to the boat. Nice. Another crappy. Got another one. Maybe. Troy 
we just nice. hooked into another crappie. Is that a crap? Oh, that's a big crappie. Biggest one of the trip. <laughs> but uh, we just found the crappies hanging out in deeper water. The bluegills are up shallow in the wood. We're catching both crappies and bluegills. We got some pike. All the clouds moved out from the rain earlier today. It's a beautiful evening and we're having a lot of fun catching fish. But that crappie he just caught right now, that's gotta be 12 and a half, 13 inches. That was a big one. So I'm getting my line back in the water. We're gonna get more of those suckers. Let me see if I can get one out of there. There we go. A wicked pisser. <laughs> then you pull up that thing. Jeez. Now there's one. There we go. Right there. Oh. <laughs> that was cool. That was like inches under the surface. Mm hmm. There we go. That's a slab. Oh, there's one. Well, Troy and I did really well this evening. We caught just under our limit of panfish. I got 19 of them, he got 22. And I brought back three northern pike, but I'll show you guys. These are nice fish. Some of those gills are just enormous. Pike, 19 panfish. We got a lot of flaying ahead of us tomorrow. We got two more pike in the refrigerator and a couple walleyes. So we're gonna be eating good pickled northern pike and fried fish fries. Can't complain, that's Northwoods fishing. It's absolutely beautiful up here. There's a lot of loons. Sorry if you hear a car going by. There's a lot of loons out tonight. There's been a lot of wildlife in general. Lots of deer walking around. We even ran into a nice orange cat last night. So we're having a good time up here. But I gotta put these fish away because tomorrow we have a lot of flaying ahead of us. 
How are you doing, Troy? Yeah. yeah. 22. 22. You got? 19 panfish and three pike. Yeah, nice Yeah, those are, those are huge. You don't see them like that often. <laughs> nice. All right, let's get them in the fridge so that they are nice and cold. I just wanted to show you guys the size of a couple of these big haunting bluegills so big they have they literally have four heads that's when you know they're big just don't want that sucker splashing me in the face but these are some nice nice fish Ten o'clock at night and it's still this light out here in the North Woods. Beautiful. Alright, my buddy Troy just caught this nighttime pike. About a 20 incher. So we're gonna add him to the pickling jars. Nice work man. Let's get some walleyes though. <laughs> well tonight sucked for walleye fishing although we didn't go back to the dam where we caught the walleyes last night because it's a 30 minute drive one way 30 minute drive back we're way too tired to uh even think about driving especially when there's so many deer out right now running around up here in the north woods don't want to hit one of those suckers so we're gonna hit the sack and head out in the morning then we gotta flay some fish pat the car and hit the road back to southern wisconsin it's been a great time up here so far and well here's troy chillaxing on the couch over here with his giant largemouth bass on the wall and Nice little cottage, nice place to be. Well, we woke up to a super thick fog on the lake this morning. The fog was so thick you couldn't even see across the lake. It just looked like a white wall of fog. My buddy Troy's going to get back out fishing this morning. I didn't sleep too well last night and I got a long drive home. But we'll see how he does when he gets back. See what he caught. I'm sure he'll catch some fish. They were biting good last night, so I don't have any doubt he'll catch some fish. Here he is right now. You gonna go get him? <laughs> Looks pretty gnarly out here. Oh yeah, bald eagle flying over the island. Well, good luck, man. Go get them. Well, my buddy Troy just got back and we're gonna start flaying our fish. He said this morning sucked. All of the fog rolled out off the lake. Bluebird skies, high pressure. 
not what you want when you're out fishing but he caught a few fish this morning but it wasn't anywhere near as good as last night and we just got to flay these fish pat the car and hit the road back to southern wisconsin but troy's got a good mess of crappies right here and bluegills to flay i'm gonna be flaying some pike first and then i'm flaying my panfish so that's fishing though you said you didn't do too well hey I wasn't surprised though. I said last night with that bluebird sky, it probably was gonna get kind of tough. But hey, we still caught a lot of fish. It was a fun weekend. Here's the pile of fish I'm starting on. Got some nice walleyes and some nice pike for pickling. Not pickling the walleyes, we're gonna fry those up, but got enough for a few pickle jars, so time to get to work. So we're getting ready to leave, but my buddy took the head off his northern pike and he hunted on this tree so it will dry out and turn into a skeleton. Look at those teeth. Rows and rows and rows of teeth. And this one has less teeth than most pike believe it or not. That's gonna look pretty cool once it's all skeletalized. It's attracting flies already, so it's doing its job. <laughs> all right, well, we're gonna hit the road now. If you guys like this video, subscribe to my page, hit the like button. This was just a short two day vacation, but we caught a lot of fish and had a good time. We have about a four hour ride back down to southern Wisconsin, so let's hit the road. Take care, have a safe and fun fishing season, and a great day.